I'm giving a polka dot price prediction in this video and should polka dots price moon this cycle, it will be because of three main factors, mass marketing, regulatory clarity, and polka dot 2.0. But what revolutionary changes does polka dot 2.0 bring? And why is regulatory clarity such a game changer? Stick around because the answers to these questions might just redefine how you view polka dot. So let's talk about the first reason, which is marketing. Polkadot has been on an absolute marketing tear from spending money from their polka assembly. We're going to go over that here in a second. But here's the big one that happened this weekend. Uh, NASCAR, the Indy 500, one of the largest races in the world. Uh, they had a Polkadot car, a Polkadot team, uh, and they sponsored Connor Daly's uh, number 22 car. And so talk about brand recognition and people seeing polka dot, there's one of them. And I did mention the polka assembly, um, one of the unique things and, you know, something that people talk about, but polka dot is actually doing is, hey, if you want a marketing budget, if you're a content creator, if you're a company, a business, uh, uh, a, a parachain that's launching, and you want some of our polka dot funds, well, you put in a vote to the DAO, and then the DAO whether approves it or rejects it. Uh, and again, they've been on an absolute blitz. You can see here a few that I've just picked out. This was uh, uh, number 613, Polkadot and the Thai partnership to increase institutional exposure and access. That was approved for 150,000 DOT tokens. Yeah, this one, number 644, a sports sponsorship fund. Uh, and it kind of breaks down exactly what it's for. So if you, anyone, even yourself watching, can put in a proposal for marketing for Polkadot, you just got to go through the process, tell them what you want to do. And then the other one here as well, was number 643 that was executed for a million dot tokens, Mythical Games and Polka Dot, a proposal from the Mythos Foundation Swiss. So uh, we know Mythical Games, they're pretty big into NFTs. One of the chains that ranks, ranks towards the top uh, repeatedly. So they're spending a crap load of money. Also what they're doing is they're getting out there and they're educating people. So this is from the Polka Dot X page. The fifth cohort of the Polkadot Blockchain Academy, the biggest yet, kicks off today. PBA is a pioneering educational program that equips developers and entrepreneurs with the knowledge and skills necessary to build and lead innovative projects within the Polkadot ecosystem. So they're hitting this thing from multiple different angles, from a brand recognition angle and also from an education angle, especially as we onboard the masses. This is extremely important. Um, and then you have uh, this video as well. This is from Behind the Code, creating the Web3 future, talking about what makes Polkadot unique uh, in what it's doing. Let's take a listen. Polkadot is an open technology. And broadly speaking, uh, we have found that regulators have shared our appraisal uh, that Polkadot is indeed a utility um, and that it's a decentralized system. Uh, something that I would say an awful lot of blockchains actually uh, fail to, to achieve. Speaking of Polkadot being a decentralized system, that leads me into reason number two, which is regulatory clarity. You have the big one here, which is the Fit 21 bill that passed the House that got uh, 71 Democrats to vote in favor of it, uh, even with the likes of uh, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who broke away from, uh, from the other party leaders, such as Elizabeth Warren. And so this thing has a real shot at making it to the president's desk to sign into approval to law. And what is the, one of the most important things in the Fit 21 bill that fits into the polka dot narrative? It is none other than this. The proposed bill has a decentralized test that will determine whether a token is a security or a commodity. And everything polka dot has been doing is showing that, hey, it is decentralized. No one controls the fund. If you want to spend money or if money is to be released from the polka dot foundation, the treasury, you have to put in a vote and the token holders have to vote on it. So it's got that working in its favor. Also, uh, with the, the form of regulatory clarity, you're going to have institutions and enterprises that start to pile in building solutions, maybe even moving their entire companies and their backends on chain. And well, what are they going to feel comfortable with until we get legislation is, hey, which ones are not going to be in the wrath of the SEC? And Polkadot clearly will be one of them. Which leads me to number uh, reason number three, which is Polkadot 2.0, reimagining the Polkadot chain. A couple of things here I've highlighted from the tech report, and then we'll get into the price prediction here. So the features of Polkadot 2.0, it relies on a new architecture that allows different blockchains, 
also known as parachains, to connect and communicate with each other. These features include a new staking system, an on-chain treasury, and a governance system that allows users to vote to, on changes to the network. Polkadot 2.0's main idea focuses on introducing elastic cores that can adapt to changing computational requirements. Currently, parachains in the Polkadot network operate like fixed CPU cores in a supercomputer. However, the upcoming system aims to allocate resources more flexibly, adjusting in real time to meet the network security needs. This innovation can significantly improve overall efficiency in the dot ecosystem. I have to agree, a lot of, uh, a lot of the pushback on Polkadot's parachains was, hey, it is too expensive, right? You got the auction, and then, of course, you have the core here as well. Well, now with the changes with Polkadot 2.0, they're looking to change that, making it more accessible, making it more uh, efficient uh, financially. You also have this. So this is Gavin Ford, or Gavin uh, Wood, the founder of Polkadot, uh, talking about the Jam, right? So this is also going to be part of the new rebranding of Polkadot. Jam is a protocol combining elements of both Polkadot and Ethereum. It is a perspective path to replace the relay chain with a more modular, minimalistic design that allow it to scale rapidly. Uh, one of the, the most popular modular chains we, we see is Celestia, right? The network of networks, something that really took off in the beginning of the year that continues to do well, that is the route that Polkadot is going. So in a single coherent model, Jam provides a global singleton permissionless object environment, much like smart contract environment pioneered by Ethereum, paired with secure sideband computation parallelized over scalable node network, a proposition pioneered by Polkadot. So if you don't understand what that means, it just means Polkadot is going to become faster, cheaper, and more efficient, bringing in more developers, bringing in more people that want to launch projects on the network. You also have this. Uh, speaking of building on the network, building on Polkadot is now easier than ever. Open Zeppelin, which is a provider of open source libraries and tools that enable teams to efficiently and safely manage blockchain projects, has released their Polkadot runtime templates Get started building today. And this is a quote posted from the Open Zeppelin account. Devs can now build securely in Polkadot thanks to our new generic runtime template. Uh, again, making it easier and more accessible for builders to come into the Polkadot ecosystem, driving, obviously, uh, the Polkadot ecosystem forward. And then we have this. This kind of ties into the Polkadot 2.0 and what's been happening Polkadot ecosystem thrives with significant growth in quarter one, reaching $12.7 billion market cap. Now, you might be asking, well, if all this exciting stuff is happening on Polkadot, why has the price not moved? Part of the reason could be, A, obviously, I did show you all the different proposals and how much DOT tokens were released. Well, those DOT tokens either get essentially sold in the open market for dollars or cash to pay for the sponsorships. Now, with the demand still pretty low, of course, it can hamper price appreciation. But once those things start to take shape and once the marketing slows down and demand comes in, whether it's from speculators and retail or from actual projects that are using Polkadot and launching on the Polkadot network, we should see price start to move up rapidly. We take a look at where is Polkadot today, $7.38, has been underperforming the rest of the markets, but... Uh, if those three reasons I just stated can come to fruition, we should see Polkadot make all-time highs. Now, my price prediction for Polkadot, and we'll get into the chart here in a second. So take a look at current dominance, right? So Polkadot sitting at a 10 point, let me take a look here. I believe it's a $10.1 billion market cap, which brings us to around a 0.41% market share for Polkadot. We take a look at a competitor like Solana, their market cap is around 3%. Now, dot, uh, dot reclaims, uh, if Dot reclaims market share, let's say it gets to around 2%, and the total crypto market cap grows from where it is now to $2.5 trillion, let's say it just 4Xs to $10 trillion with all the institutions coming on board, with things launching, uh, enterprises, and, and all of that. Let's say it gets to $10 trillion, and Polkadot can get 2% market share. We're talking about a $200 billion market cap for Polkadot, divide that by how many tokens they have. You're looking at a uh, price prediction of around $133 for Polkadot. If we take a look at the Polkadot chart, this is on the daily. Now, we do have a pretty bearish uh, pretty bearish pattern unfolding here, which is going to be a bear flag. As you see, the, the, the pull and then the flag, it can also be, uh, people sometimes call it a pennant. 
Uh, but still, but this is typically breaks to the downside. But we had something similar happen. This was back in December of last year where we saw a drawdown, right? We saw a drawdown, a uh, channel up, which is a bear flag. Now that smaller one did break down, but we had a larger one at scale, which Polkadot, before it was able to break down, it did release and go and make a uh, cycle high so far of around $12. If we zoom out to the weekly chart, and I remove this drawing, we take a look at, hey, where is the trend for Polkadot on the weekly? You can see it has been making higher lows. This is from October of 2023. If we throw on the Ichimoku cloud, we can see here we are still bullish for Polkadot as price is currently trading above the cloud and the cloud is green. Again, could the marketing blitz right now with all the DOT tokens that are being sold for marketing, could that be hampering the price? I believe yes. But again, once that subsides and once people realize, hey, Polkadot is, a, is almost a brand new chain. It's infinitely scalable. It's got a great team behind it. The development is happening. It's easier to code and bring projects onto the network. You're going to have retail that come in that see, hey, Polkadot got to $55 last cycle. It's at seven bucks. It's at seven bucks. You got to think retail, they look at price value, not necessarily the market cap value. And so things are really lining up for Polkadot to have a massive explosion if those three things come to fruition. What are your thoughts? Is $133 for DOT token? Am I being bullish, too bullish, or am I being too bearish? Let us know in the comment section. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.